In this week's video, I massage a wing, I play dot to dot on a boot lid, I test some stuff, and then I pre-wash a car twice. And welcome back to the Paul Dolan Details channel. This week we have my son's BMW back on the channel. Not been cleaned for two months because the car's never here. He's a busy chap. And this car he really does need a clean. So thanks to our amazing British summer, we are experiencing some of the highest temperatures ever seen in the UK. When I filmed this car, it was round about 23, 25 degrees. I'm told after this video has gone out, it's going to get hotter. Mm. So there she is, all ready for testing some chemicals. And the first set of chemicals comes from these guys. Molecular. We have a tyre gel. We have a polish. We have another tyre dressing. Another tyre dressing. We have a citrus pre-wash, a vehicle shampoo, hydrofoam, the glass cleaner, and we have a fallout stroke wheel cleaner, and an acid-free wheel cleaner, and a detailing spray. We also have this week CarScope's Baltic Snow Foam. Now this is a 50 to 1 ratio, apparently as little as 50 to 1, it's quite strong. Also, very, very late to the party, the graphene, more like a mini test in my case, very late to the party with this one. I'm going to be testing those two waxes. First, we start with the wheels like we always do, the wheels, tyres, arches. They're always the worst part. It's the bit that makes the contact on the road. Well, I hope it does anyway. The big boy pressure washer this week. And we have the 40 degree nozzle, that is the widest one. Still using the APC from Auto Glance. Might as well use it up, it's in the pump sprayer. Tough Shine tire scrubbing brush. Now, obviously, you hear me mention these names in most of my videos, and I do this for a reason so you guys can go and find the products. So the first one is Evolution. This is the acid-free wheel cleaner. This is the 500 ml bottle of this. So we're gonna start with a liberal spray. Now obviously, if you're gonna be cleaning these wheels thoroughly, I had a comment in one of the videos saying he takes their wheels off once or twice a year. That's good practice if you take your wheels off. I haven't done that yet. I den, I don't wanna see what's on the back of these wheels. I bet they're black. So we're gonna start by massaging the chemical into the wheel. Now that brush is from Max Shine. That is a chemical resistant soft brush. It's like a detailing factory style brush, but it is chemical resistant. I've used all sorts of chemicals with that brush and it's still going strong. However, make sure you rinse the brushes out and do not leave your brushes in water because all they do is degrade and the collar splits. Why am I using a different brush? because I want to get in the lug nut areas and it's a stiffer brush. Vican, a soft brush now. Just to clean up any bits I may have missed. Well, that was fairly painless and fairly effortless. So this is the Fallout Stroke Wheel Cleaner. I thought I'd test this on the wheel I've just cleaned just to see how much fallout was still on the actual wheel. Yeah, not really a lot to be honest with you. So we'll try it on the other wheel. So this is the offside. See what it can actually capable of doing. See if it can bleed any fallout out from that wheel. So although the foam is slightly gray, still behaving exactly the same as the wheel cleaner. Does it smell? Yes, it does. It still has that horrible 
fallout remover stench. So same procedure, but the same results. Big bang. Mm. Citrus pre-wash, a hundred mil shot of this in the sample bottle. So I put this in a trigger spray bottle, topped it up to around about 750 mil of water, the hundred mil in and then topped up to 750 and allow this to dwell. Now after talking to the guys, they did say use this in a pump sprayer. It's a preferred method. It is for most pre-washes. Don't get confused with shoving this in a snow foam lance. You'll just dilute it even more. So I gave that around about five minutes, as long as I dent. With the sun starting to come around the back of the car, I was really watching the panels. And everybody keeps saying, Paul, when are you going to get a gazebo? Well, at the moment, I haven't got a spare six, seven hundred quid for a good one. There's no point in buying a cheap one from B&M's or Wheelco's or wherever. They just blow away. If you're going to get a good one, get a good one. So we're going to give this a thorough rinse. And we're going to give it a swipe test. And that's what I was left with on the little applicator. Yeah, not the best. So we're going to hit this twice, as mentioned in the intro, pre-washing twice. Now, we measured out 50 mil, and I topped this up to the 700 mil line in the lance. And yes, it's thin. It's going to be thin at those dilution ratios. But this is supposed to be concentrated, so I expected great things. As you can see, the runoff is pretty fast. So by the time I've moved the camera around, it was running off the vehicle at speed. Sun is starting to sweep round. And I did a very, very quick rinse up, not rinse down. I rinse bottom up. What's this? Snow foaming again, but thicker. All I can say is I did an off camera swipe test and it wasn't great. There was no improvement whatsoever. So I did another set. Now this is with a hundred mil of product. You can visually see it's thicker. Now you would expect after using citrus on the lower parts of the car and then snow foaming twice, we're gonna get some good results. We'll find out after this rinse up. So why do we rinse from the bottom up? This comes up in pretty much every video that people think you should rinse from the top down. There is no golden rule. However, if you rinse from the bottom up, you can actually see where you've been. If you did that on a white car, you'd visually see the tram lines. So one more swipe test. And that's what we were left with. It's no TFR, it's a snow foam. It's wax safe, so that's kind of what we expected. This is their shampoo, Hydro Foam. This is from Molecular Vehicle Products. Molecular Chemicals. Super Glidy. 
Provides decent cleaning power. However, it did die in the bucket. It required a bit of a shush up. Use two mitts. When you're doing the lower parts of the car, you're bound to have missed something underneath the seals and you don't want that ruining your best mitt. So swap mitts. Top part, best mitt. Bottom part, not so good mitt. So by this stage, my legs and my head were getting rather warm. And all I can say is that t-shirt will have to go on a boil wash. So this is the detailing spray. Now, what the hell? That's photo bombing. The Metro's in the back of the video. This is the detailing spray. And I've got to say, when I first pulled the trigger on this, I have smelt this before. It did smell rather familiar. So just mopping up the last of the water, not really a lot on the car because the panel temperatures were starting to get rather warm. We use this to take off the last droplets. So it does provide a pretty slick finish. You can use these in between washes. You're probably thinking, why don't you just put some real good protection on that car? For the simple reason is I'm using this car as a test bed to test different products. If I went ahead and put a six month to a year sealant on it, there's no point in testing anything else on the car. As far as LSPs are concerned, anyway, last stage protection. So it is easy to buff off once you've done your initial drying Liberally splay it on the panels, and this will take off any fingerprint marks, any smudges, anywhere you've missed. Nice and fragrant. Definitely smelt that smell before. Whoa, whoa time now. Luckily for me, these guys are still hanging around, and they've sent down some new products. Sent down their new microfibers. Got to say, they're an improvement on the first ones. The first ones were good, but these are a lot plusher. Got a bit more of a quality feel to them. Sent down a number of these, and they also sent down the applicator pads, the one that looks like Smarties, which you'll see in a bit. So the great thing about detailing sprays, they're safe to use on pretty much everything. Spectrum, new and used car polish. Hmm, interesting. So before I used this, it was a quick clay bar session on the boot lid or the trunk if you're in America. I don't know why you call it the trunk. That's something that's on the front of an elephant. Very odd. We love you. We love you over there. So I'm just using water because I've got AM clay and that's what the result was on the clay. Mm, not good. There it is, there's the famous Smarty, the M&M. So we're gonna go do a quick dot to dot, and then we're gonna use a circular motion and work it into the panel. Now don't expect miracles. You aren't gonna correct a panel using this. This is simply to provide a bit of filling capability to cover up any defects and provide some really nice gloss because it has some waxes infused into the car. Steady on, Paul, that car's gonna take off. And that's what it does. It provides a nice sheen. It fills in the minor defects, the swirls. Hence the used car polish. So moving on to the front wings. Now, this was me being very, very late to the testing party. I know John DeLue has done a video on these waxes. So a number of different detailers, enthusiasts, Instagrammers, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, got sent out waxes. Everybody got sent different waxes. I have number 13 and I have number one. So after a quick clay bar session, all I can say is that this thing was a breeze to apply. And I was expecting these waxes to be very different, but they weren't. I really couldn't decipher which one was the best. Visually, they improved the look of the car. They were easy to apply and easy to take off. Now, the cure times because of the temperatures were around about one minute. So this is the other wax on the other wing. Applied in the same manner with the applicator pad and buffed off. It really was that simple. 
So ideally when doing testing like this, you should have done this months ago, Paul, then you could have kept tabs on the length of time it took for the water to die off. However, that's all you're gonna get for that. Well, that worked. Moving swiftly onto the glass cleaning stage now. Oh no, not more video bombing from the Metro. Do apologize for that. Now, on application, I gotta say, this stuff is fairly strong. I did find out to my cost how strong it was when I moved onto the interior of the car. Yes, it's strong. It's very strong in alcohol. Now that could have been down to the evaporation from the constant bombardment from the sun. It does the trick, it works, but it does evaporate, especially with temperatures like this. It evaporates very quickly and then you kind of get over fumed, over fumed or overcome by very, very strong alcoholic fumes. Cheap drink anyway. Uh, silicon free tire dressing axes. So I've used this on the passenger side, near side, and I'm gonna use the gel on the other side. So everyone's gonna ask me, what are you using? That is a puck, it's from knockout underscore 3d the 3d printing company i'll put a link to the website where you can get those from and i'm using an old finishing pad from details passions it just so happens it fits the puck fantastic and it's velcro so the tire dressing is very very easy to apply and yes you are going to have to roll that car backwards or forwards to do the base of the tire moving on to this this is the solvent based tire dressing so the last solvent based one I can remember using was the Crystal Clean Detail Tire Sole. And I used to love that product because it smelled of grapes. And it used to last forever. Apologies for the shadowing here with the sun beaming down on my bont and me casting a shadow on the tire. Got to cover yourself up in this heat. Very easy to apply this. And I've got to say, off camera, this stuff is still hanging around on the car. So those were the results. So even after using just some basic chemicals and using the detail spray, we've got the car to look fresh again. So if you love this video, or you don't like this video, please put a thumb up. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it to everybody. And above all, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me. And we will see you on the next one. Ta-da!